Let's solve question 9. If the best and worst acceptable slopes obtained from the graph of current I against voltage V are respectively 0.5 amps per volt and 0.7 amps per volt, find the experimental value of the resistance R in the experiment and these options we are giving to us. Now, if you are giving a question like this, ask yourself, what experiment are we talking about? It is electricity. Yes, because we are talking about current and voltage here. Voltage is also known as potential difference, right? Now, we remember Ohm's law that V equals to what? I, R. That means if you are to plot graph of I against V, it means make I subject of formula. You divide by R, divide by R. I am now making I subject of formula because we plotted a graph of current against voltage here. And so you will be having I equals to 1 over R times what? V. Yes, because V over R means 1 over R times V. That means when you plot a graph of current against voltage, the slope will be equal to 1 over R. Yes, from Y equals to MS plus C. So the slope will be equal to 1 over R. This is what we plot there. When you plot Y against X, it's certain an I against V. M will become 1 over R and the intercepts will be zero. That is theoretical intercept. Theoretical intercept, the one we got from what? From theory. So if you do the experiment very well, and you are 100% accurate, the intercept will be zero, that it will be passing through the origin. Yes, but if it didn't pass through the origin, try to get the error encountered why solving for the interest as i said in the question before now right okay so the slope will be one over r that means from the graph of this that means the best and worst acceptable slope means that this is one over r and this is one over r this is best slopes or the best one over r and this is the worst one over r and so I will be having it that 1 over R is equal to the best one. And also 1 over R is equal to the worst one. Right? Yes. Now, to get the experimental resistance of the resistors in the experiment, you make R to be inverted. 1 over 0 0.5. That will be giving you 2.0. That means... I've deleted two options. I'm now working for the remaining two options. 2.0 watts ohms. Okay. Then I also do for this one. This is for the best. Then the, for the one of worst, R for the worst fit is equal to 1 over 0 0.7. 1 over 0 0.7, 1 divided by 0 0.7 will be giving us. 1.43 was 1.43 watts ohms approximately. Okay, so because this is in one decimal place, this 2.0 is one decimal place. Approximating this to one decimal place will be equal to 1.4 watts ohms. So we have gotten our best resistor and the the worst one. Now, how do we get the error? error encountered you say the error encountered error in getting resistor here because we got this from what slopes because we got this from slopes and they didn't give you the uh, maximum error or the standard error that one we used to write plus or minus plus or minus because we got this from slope we will say the error in getting the best own minus the one of the was and we get the modulus of it in case if it is negative the best minus the was take the modulus of it in case it is what negative so 2.0 minus 1.4 that will be giving you 0.6 watts ohms 
that means our final answer will be 2.0 plus or minus 0 0.6 ohms okay that is the answer you look at the option obviously the option c and d is what we are targeting on option c cannot be the answer it is option what d that is closest to the option yes that is why we are bringing these options this way is for you to see that in some questions given to you it's not a more that everything will be verbatim the examiner might make small mistake and so when you get something try to what look at the closest options yes when they'll mark it they will realize that wow they didn't give the exact value and so they will take care of it okay yes so that is the answer to the word question show your working and your working ends your mark we'll go to question number 10 if the resistor R in an experiment has a marking as 470 ohms, 10%, the true value of its resistance is, they gave you option. This is very simple. Get the 10% of 470. 10% of 470. 10% means 10 over 100 times 470, right? We will cancel. That will be giving you 47 ohm. 47 ohm. Now, the answer will be 470 plus or minus 470 ohms. I said it is very simple. We go to question number 11. Question number 11. 